we have two men from the DNR here that are going to be doing a uh, second day of the fish survey on Bald Eagle. Could you explain who you are, what you're doing, and why you're doing it? Yeah, yeah I'm Jim Levin. I'm with East Metro Fisheries. Uh, we manage lakes in the East Metro, you know, all of Washington County, and you know, Dakota, Ramsey, Anoka. So Bald Eagle is one of the lakes that, that we survey. Um, for, we're doing a fish survey today, this week, and we've got gill nets and trap nets out in the lake. Um, trap nets are good at catching the sunfish, panfish, stuff that's near shore. Gill nets are offshore nets. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna sample the walleye and the perch out there most effectively. Um, usually, we're when we do a survey, kind of our management goals, it's number of walleye per trap or per gill net lift. So that's that's a number you'll see in our our management reports. Um, so today we're we'll be going out with this this boat and lifting the trap nets. The, the fish will all come into the boat. We'll dump them into a tub of water. You know, they're they're all alive, and we'll. We'll measure them, get, you know, write down the species, and, uh, and then toss them back in the lake. And my name's TJ DeBates, um, colleague of Jim's in East Metro Area Office. We we spend every other year out here on Bald Eagle Lake. It's one of our top five, our big lakes. It gets a lot of fishing pressure. Um, we stock muskies, we stock walleyes, so we really want to keep a good eye on on the fish community out here. And so this is uh, we do it every other year and most of our lakes get sampled every five or six years, so. If people wanted to get the results of your test, or your efforts today, when would it be available and where? So the, all of our lake surveys are done in the summer, and uh, usually in the fall, over the winters, when we uh, compile all the data, write the reports, uh, if we're aging fish, we'll age them in the winter, uh, and then the reports are, are available before Try to get them everything published online on, on Lake Finder on the DNR website before the fishing opener for next year. So I'm not going to see it next week? This won't be on there next week. Next week we're going to be on White Bear Lake, <laughs> just down the road doing, doing that survey. <laughs> and one of the things that Gary Krasarek, the president of the Bald Eagle Area Association, is all excited about is carp. Can you give me an idea about how many carp or size of carp that you've found in the lake? Carp? Aren't, our, our nets don't sample them real effectively um, and yesterday we didn't see any um, we may we may see a couple today in these trap nets that we're lifting there we get them in there occasionally but they're not the best at sampling the carp um, I'm not sure TJ yeah. if you have yeah. any if, no, I, I don't remember from the, I didn't look at pre yeah. old surveys beforehand so I, we'd have to look at previous surveys and but I'd say a lake like this is a good you know good strong game fish populations I'd say there's probably in here, if you have carp, they're probably going to be big because a lot of the smaller carp are probably getting, eat, eat, getting eaten by the pike, the northerns, you know, just kind of the, the, the game fish are kind of controlling the fish community. But there are carp in here, but I'd say the population probably isn't okay. very big. And that's a good thing. The water's clear, um, you know, good game fish population, so. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. I detect. Cool.
Yeah, rock, rock it out of our net, rock it out of our buckets and our tubs. It's a nice bike for the metro. <laughs> when you're doing your survey, you just simply report that you found 262 sunfish that were a half an inch long, right? But you're not saying that there's 263,000 two-inch sunfish in Bald Eagle Lake. No, that would be a population assessment. Or a, yeah, uh, yeah. And there, there's different statistics to do that. So we're not doing that with this type of survey. We're just getting. Um, we can look at density over time. Our net catches are up. They're down. But we're not getting a number for the lake itself. Okay. Oh, kind of what's expected. Pretty nice perch for the metro, anyway. Back up, back up.